Cold. Hi guys, what's up? I'm totally, totally bombed. Why? Because I got fabulous at the hospital. Today I was discharged. Ooh, yes, I was discharged from the hospital. I put on makeup. I did my hair. I looked cute. Okay. Left the hospital. Didn't record. Went to my mom and dad house, kissed and loved on them, surprised them, left there, came home, saw my beautiful children, looking fabulous. Did not record, go to wash off my face, twisted back up my hair, walked up and down my hallway to walk out some of this gas or just do what they tell me to do. And guess what? Now I'm on here talking to you guys not looking fabulous the way I was. I'm still fabulous, but I'm not all dialed up. Because in my mind, I was like, I don't want to look like I just got out of the hospital. I don't want to look like I just got head surgery. I want to look cute. The joke is on me, right? <laughs> so, how am I feeling? As you can tell, I am in great spirits. I would even say, compared to all of the um videos that i've watched a lot of the um comments from other people views of the surgery i must say that a dear friend of mine tamiko weary she was like her surgery was easy no nausea no pain aches or minimum nausea minimum pain that i would be okay my doctor told me to say Every time I saw him, my surgeon, to say, is no pain. You're not going to be in pain. This is an easy surgery. And as much as he had me say it over and over and over again, right, honey, <laughs> baby, the doctor told me to say that. I want y'all to hear my husband because he was in a room with me. He would make me say that over and over again. Your pain, your surgery would not be painful. Your surgery would not be painful. And he would have me say that over and over again because I would get so um, anxious about the surgery. Like, I heard this, I heard that. He was like, it's not, it's not, you're going to be fine. And guess what? My surgery was easy. It was minimum nausea. When I first got out of surgery, there was like a stuffy feeling. Like, I felt like um, I had to clear my throat. And I did. And what you have to do is you have to kind of like hold your stomach together, like with your arms, like, like gather it here like that and go <clears throat> over and over again until you get all that phlegm out. Once you get the phlegm out, you're good. You're good. The sipping. Um, now that um, the I did have some reaction to nausea. Um, the first day and a little bit of the second day. And now I just take things to, to remain not feeling it. But um, I did feel it initially. And I had a little bit of blood in the film that I spit up. It wasn't a full vomiting. It was film. It was like foam coming out and a little bit of blood. And the blood was from the tubing, my throat being raw. So... Um, after that, I was good that I started walking hours later after the surgery because I was really out of it. I was in and out sleeping, waking up, going back to sleep, in and out. And I walked about 6, 6.15. I have a video um, of that. Just check out my videos. I did post that day when I walked. My po it should say um, post-op walking, I think it is. First day post-op. Or a second day post op, one of them. But it, I did video it. So, um, what else? Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm trying now to get all of the water in and the protein in, and um, that is really going to be the challenge. And so, right now, I have a binder on my stomach that they gave me. I find that this is so helpful, you guys. It really, really is. And I'm just going to 
just show a little bit of it's just a white binder um let me see where is the thing at see that's what it like it's just a white like binder around my stomach you see it's like a girdle like um and so i just have that around my stomach um and that's just to hold it together because when i stand up gravity pulls my stomach because i do have a um a, a large stomach and i have an apron and so when i stand up it feels like it's pulling on my incisions but it really isn't the doctor said it really isn't but it feels better when everything is kind of snugged so i do have that on and um what else like i said i'm walking up and down my hallway i didn't even count to see how many times or anything like that i'm not trying to put that in my head like okay you gotta do this for 10 minutes so you gotta do that i'm gonna just walk when i feel like walking i'm gonna get up and just walk up and down my halls and um i think that's it guys so hope you had a fabulous day if your surgery is coming up listen to me it will be easy ask your doctor if he would do um invisible stitches or dissolvable stitches and do the glue on top and not the staples because I believe that holds a lot of the pain down. And um, and the narcotics to be easy on the narcotics <laughs> because I think you have so many side, effect, side effects of the different narcotics that that's what causes you so much nausea. So, and I can't tell you all the medicines that they use because I have no idea. So, I apologize for that, but um, just breathe and know that you're going to be okay. I can't believe that it's so many days after the surgery already. Like, I can't believe it. I was, I thought about this for so long and to know, I got this little behind me, um, for so long and now that part is over and it's like, wow, it's really done. I really did it already and so that feels great to know that um that part of anxiety <laughs> is over and pretty much all of my anxiety like I feel really good and positive about it I have no buyer's remorse like um there's one part of my stomach where where they took my stomach out is like um um a lump there because it the way that they pulled my stomach out. He had to um, sew it in a certain way. And so he said it should flatten out. I'm praying it flatten out. And I'm actually rubbing it like it's a baby. You know, when newborn babies are, you know, with all my babies, I shake their head. <laughs> I'm shaping my stomach. Okay. This baby is going to be shaped right in Jesus' name. <laughs> so you guys have a good night. It's late. Um, thanks for watching. If you have not liked and subscribed already, please do. I'm just a, a, a normal woman living her life and um, asking you guys to join in with me and leave me your stories below. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Peace.